Hello friends, this video on factorization part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Factorize this expression x to the power 4 minus x minus z to the power 4. So looking at this, can you think of any identity into which you can kind of uh, put it? Yes, you can. You can take help of the identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b because both of these terms are perfect squares. So x to the power 4 can be written as x squared to the power 2. Similarly, x minus z to the power 4 can be written as x minus z whole square to the power 2. So this is basically in the form a square minus b square where x square behaves like a and x minus z whole square behaves like b. So this becomes a plus b that is x square plus x minus z whole square. So this is a plus b into a minus b that is x square minus x minus z whole square. Now let's do one thing. Let's break down this x minus z whole square. So x minus z whole square would be equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square where a is equal to x and b is z. Similarly, in this case also we will do the same. So this becomes x square minus 2xz plus z square. Now, do you understand why I have retained the bracket? That's because here we have a negative sign. So if you try to remove the bracket and you keep the same signs, it will create a confusion. So it is better that you break it down, but you still keep the bracket intact. Now here, x square plus x square. This becomes 2x square minus 2xz plus z square. And what happens here? Here it becomes x square minus x square plus 2xz plus plus into minus is minus z square. So x square minus x square would be 0. So this becomes equal to 2x square plus z square minus 2xz into 2xz minus z square. So if you look at this term here you have z in common. So this can further be written somewhat like this. Take out z in common. So this becomes 2x minus z. So this is the final factor form and hence the final answer for this expression. Question number 6. So the first expression is q square minus 10q plus 21. So this is that type of an expression where even though you have one variable, you have three terms, but the two terms are not perfect squares. Only one term is a perfect square, the other one is not. In this case, q square is perfect square, but 21 is not. So that means this will fall under the category of the special identity. That is x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So let's see if we can write this equation in this format. So x square is q square here minus 10 into q. So can we write minus 10 as sum of two numbers? Well, minus 10 can be written as minus 3 plus minus 7. So minus 3 plus minus 7 is equal to minus 10. So this into q. So q square plus a plus b into q plus a into b that is minus 7 into minus 3. So you see we have very perfectly written it in this format. So therefore this can be written as how can we write it? This is equal to x plus a into x plus b. So x is q here. What is a? a is minus 7. So q plus minus 7 into q plus minus 3. So this can be written as q minus 7 into q minus 3. So I think uh, here you have to write this. This step is where you need to be smart enough to write it in this form so that you are able to satisfy this expression. At the same time, you are able to write it in this expression form. 
Next one is a to the power 4 minus 2a square b square plus b to the power 4. So here also if you look at a to the power 4, this is a perfect square. So it can be written as a square whole square. If you look at b to the power 4, this is also a perfect square. So you can write it as b square whole square. Now if you look at the middle term, this can be written as 2 into a into b. So here a square behaves like a and b square behaves like b. So that is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this is a minus b whole square. So that is a square minus b square whole square because here a square is behaving like a, b square is behaving like b. Now a square minus b square, this can be written as a plus b into a minus b. This entire thing's whole square. So this can be written as a plus b whole square into a minus b whole square. So this is the factor form. So in this fashion, we saw that we are able to factorize different types of algebraic expressions using these four techniques. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.